huge hip hop festival going on in Bayfront Park. What a day it's been, a great show in the sky and now thousands pouring here for a loud night, a big show. The hope is everyone stays hydrated and behaves. At the very latest here in downtown Miami, I'm Christian De La Rosa, local 10 news. Of the hot Hello. ticket in town. Three days, 60,000 attendees, and over 150 of some of rap's biggest names all taking the stage. This is Rolling Loud Miami, the world's largest rap festival that has quickly rise to the top and become the epicenter for hip hop fans across the world. But just how did Rolling Loud reach the point it is at today? Well, let's just say the co-founder of the festival, Matt Singler, said it best with this statement. It wasn't really about, hey, let's create a festival. It was, hey, let's throw a bigger party than we've ever done. Six rolling loud, I keep coming back, I can't stay away. February 2015, the date of the very first Rolling Loud Festival. As you can see, it wasn't quite what it is today. In fact, this first event was only a one day show that took place in Winwood, Miami, a much smaller venue than the current Hard Rock Stadium and other locations that host Rolling Loud festivals across the country. The lineup included headliners such as Schoolboy Q and Action Bronson, with other upcoming underground acts such as Denzel Curry and Travis Scott. Yes, this Travis Scott also making appearances. Looking back, this lineup was actually amazing. For the first ever festival, founders Mark Singler and Tariq Sharif did a pretty damn good job obtaining some of the top acts in rap and showcasing Miami rap stars such as Puya and Young Simi at the same time. This would really help set the tone for the festivals in the upcoming years, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's shift our focus to the guys that started this thing in the first place and how they built the Rolling Loud empire from the ground up. Tyreek Sharif and Machine, wait no, that's Tyreek Sharif and Mark Zingler, the two rap fans slash business moguls behind Rolling Loud. Growing up together in Florida and being close friends for most of their life, the two started their journey by throwing lots of parties in high school. After getting a taste of what this lifestyle was like, the two carried on and started booking rap talent for shows across Florida in 2010. As they began to experience more success in the industry and were networking with larger artists, they finally decided to fully commit to an idea that they had thought of in the past, a rap festival called Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud was all a dream for you, right? Yeah. And, and you, you made it into a reality. How so? I used to like look up to the hip hop industry and just want to be in it when I used to read every copy of XXL, when I used right. to watch every artist interview. Mm -hmm. Rolling Loud didn't become the goal until we came up with the idea. And, right, And right. we tried it and it worked. So with the infrastructure set and the very first Rolling Loud taking place in 2015 with some pretty great artists, the show was a success, right? Yeah, there was a torrential downpour and it completely flooded the outside of the venue, which then led to some issues and delays. But with that being said, the overall experience wasn't tampered for both the fans and artists as both parties seemed to truly enjoy the show. This was crucial in ensuring a follow-up festival in 2016 where things really started to get taken to the next level. Rolling Loud 2016 would see headliners such as Future, Young Thug, Roy Woods, 2 Chains, and Ty Dolla Sign take the stage, while other bubbling artists in the rap game such as Lil Uzi Vert, Kodak Black, Lil Yachty, 21 Savage, wait, did I just list off the 2016 XXL freshman class? Uh, anyways, they were also there to showcase their talent. By stepping up their star-packed lineup, this meant that the venue would also need to change, and the event had grown into a two-day show rather than a one-day festival like the one that had taken place in 2015. The crowds 
Outsides had also nearly tripled in size from 6,000 people to 15,000. So how did the festival achieve so much growth over such a short period of time? Well, one of the main reasons for the instant success of Rolling Loud over the first couple of years was due to the focus on booking Miami-based talent and rising SoundCloud stars. Although SoundCloud may be struggling as a platform today due to the other streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music becoming more accessible, in 2016 it truly was the go-to location for artists to upload music and blow up in the rap game. This attracted a lot of younger fans to the festival that may not have typically gone to see a rap show and set Rolling Loud apart from other festivals. In terms of Florida-based artists, 2016 Rolling Loud would see guys like Smoke Perp and XXXTentacion hit the stage, which again shows how well Tariq Sharif and Mark Zingler recruited talent. The fact that X was so low on the festival lineup in 2016, yet became one of the headliners for the 2017 show due to his seemingly overnight stardom, reinforces this point. So with the 2016 festival now over, attention quickly shifted to the next year's festival. And let's just say 2017 was the year that truly cemented Rolling Loud as the go-to rap festival on the planet. Like just the energy going into 2017, Rolling Loud was insane. At that point I knew like, all right, we're here. Like now it's like, let's go, you know? With headliners Kendrick Lamar, Future, and Lil Wayne, Rolling Loud Miami 2017 was an absolute smash. The festival was now also three days long and had just a few more people attending to say the least. With all the attention drawn to Rolling Loud from rap fans across the country, the company decided that it was time to bring the festival to other locations across the US, which led to two additional Rolling Louds in 2017, one in the Bay Area and the other in Southern California. To put in perspective how well the festival was doing at this point, the music festival Coachella, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it, didn't expand into a three-day show until its eighth edition due to constant financial losses. Yet, in only its third edition, Rolling Loud had successfully grown and landed the top acts in the world at the same time. Pretty amazing if you ask me. Again, this ties back to the focus on booking the right talent and creating an experience that was unmatched in terms of bringing together rap fans to celebrate their favorite artists. As 2018 came and went, the festival continued to grow with even bigger shows and artists. However, as the 2019 Miami Festival rolled around, the scale that the event had reached unfortunately led to a few problems to say the least. Hip hop artists took to the stage at the fifth annual Rolling Loud Festival in Miami Gardens this past week. Weekend, but off stage was where the most noise was made. The security at Rolling Loud in 2019 may have been partially to blame for this chaos, but the festival's brand and image wasn't affected too much in hindsight. These kind of situations are something that comes with the world of rap, and with a deep history and knowledge of the industry, Tyreek and Mark knew how to handle the backlash. Although the festival faced these issues in the most recent Miami event, it's safe to say that Rolling Loud is here to stay and will only continue to grow, as it has already gone international, bringing the festival to Australia earlier this year. It's crazy to see the transformation from 2015 to 2019 and all the amazing rappers that were able to hit the Rolling Loud stage early in their career and now be the headliners. It can't be understated how important it was for the event to stay true to its Florida roots and focus on the underground SoundCloud artists, as I believe this is the reason Rolling Loud is currently the world's largest hip hop festival. You know what, if you can't make it out there, I know they got a live stream on our website. So all you hip hop fans, you can go on our website Safer. if you can't make it out. There. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm planning on going to Rolling Loud in 2020 to vlog the whole experience. If you guys have been, let me know what your experience was like in the comment section down below. And if you haven't, let me know if you would want to go in the future. I'm Marvelous Beats. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.